I could take a taxi right outside of the bus station but guess what there's like a metro bus right in front of it and this metro bus runs all along Lima so I'm just gonna take that and actually leaves me like five blocks from a hostel so as you guys can see I took the metro bus it's always easy safe it's just so much better to take a metro bus. Alright, I'm trying to find the hostel and I think I found it here. Though this is definitely one of the trendy hip parts of Lima. Yeah, this right here is the hostel, this black building. So I'm sure it's gonna be expensive. Not expensive, but above average prices around here. What's going on now is that um, since I don't have any reservation, all the hostels are full, all of them. And I thought it was low season, but uh, checkout time is around 12, so I'll come back later and around 12 and there should be some spaces open. There should be some openings, but um, what I'm gonna do now is just walk to the boardwalk. I have two hours to kill. And even if I go back and those hostels are, are not open, I can go to other hostels. The thing is that I don't know where they are, so I need internet to find out where they are. So I'm just gonna go to the boardwalk, look for a place that has Wi-Fi, and so far everything looks really nice, uh, very clean. But this is the nicer part of Lima for sure. I know I'm in the rich area. Well, not the rich, rich. Well, I don't know. Maybe it is a rich area, but it's very. There's a lot of money around here. I'm pretty sure not all, all of Lima is like this. But so far, so good. a nice view right here I don't think there's a beach but uh, or maybe there is I don't know uh, there's a little surfing around here as you guys I don't know if you guys can see that no wonder I saw like surfing classes back there so like I was telling you guys before I won't be going to Bolivia or Argentina because of the visa requirement so what I'm thinking, well what I have to do now is I have two months before the World Cup so I gotta see how to fill that time now because so I can't go to Uruguay or Paraguay since you have to go through Bolivia or Argentina so What I am thinking that I must do or what I will have to do is um, get a job in Brazil or here in Peru because just to, uh, just to burn time before the World Cup. And actually, yeah, my World Cup tickets are for the quarterfinals, so I don't even have to be there at the beginning of the World Cup either. So yeah, I'm planning on maybe staying here for a couple of months or in Brazil and working if I can, you know. Probably will have to be at a hostel or something like that. But we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna start asking around here at the hostels if I can work like for a month or a month and a half. Look at this guy though, he's like a traveler sleeping on a bench. That might be me in a couple of months. <laughs> All over town you find places like that that sell fruits and vegetables like they look pretty fresh I don't know if they're organic or not but you can find them all over the place and it's really cheap to buy fruit from them I came to this subway thinking that it was gonna be cheap and no it's not cheap I got the six inch guess how much five dollars that's freaking expensive for Peru come on Let's go. 